in the 21st century in order to solve the problems, the vexing problems that we're all going to face and are facing, you have to be able to connect knowledge. You must use more than one way of thinking and one way of approaching problems in today's world. It's really what a liberal arts education is all about. To have a very broad approach to looking and a very broad approach to solving because sometimes you can solve biological problems through social interventions and sometimes you can solve social problems through biological interventions. We wanted to show that yes, Wheaton understands this. Wheaton had this in mind when we created the building and now we're going to find ways that that type of pedagogy affects the rest of the campus. Our Mara Center for Science and Technology helps us to fulfill some of the promise of our Connections curriculum. Requiring our students to take a set of courses that are connected across disciplinary boundaries. It's really a credit to our, our, our uh, faculty for coming up with that vision. The, our focus was always on the academic program. They had gone in teams all around the country to look at ideal science centers and then came back and worked with EYP to create something that would really work for this campus. And then the question was, What's the physical manifestation of this? Now, what impressed me most about what EYP did was the way in which they partnered with the faculty. You know, the biologists wanted to have their own space, the chemists wanted their own space. They were able to convince the faculty, you know, maybe we can share the space, maybe we can actually teach some of our courses in the laboratory, which had not been done before. And uh, I must say, I was very, very impressed. <laughs> Working through the program with the design team, we came up with kind of a general configuration for those labs and offices and common spaces. That could be used by non-scientists as well, and ones that really engage the pedagogy of collaborative learning. I know English is being taught here, art history is being taught here, some of the other uh, um, humanities and social sciences are being taught here. It's changed the way that science is perceived. When you have a comfortable place to be, it, it goes a long way toward conveying that. They don't necessarily have to take a class, they don't have to major in it or minor in it, but being the world that we live in today, it makes sense to have that kind of exposure. Well, I'm teaching the uh, freshman chemistry class, first year chemistry class, and we have our largest enrollment ever. Do I think it's purely a coincidence? No, I really don't. Ultimately, the success is going to be measured by how students that we currently have react to it.